So the shapes of metal really are the inspiration of most of my series. Hi, my name is Kelly O'Neill and I'm a 3D mixed media artist. So when I'm treasure hunting at the salvage yard, I will find uh, some metal that will just inspire me in some way. And usually that metal will inspire three to four different pieces within a series. And uh, so it's either the shape or it's the color or it's the size of the metal or maybe the metal itself might inspire something else. But uh, that's really what starts a series with me is a piece of metal that's inspirational. A lot of my work uh, I have here at my house and a lot of them are finished in powder coating. Some of them are uh, oxide out of the natural patina of rust. A lot of the pieces that I have in my yard are some of the very first pieces I ever made and some of them are quite large and difficult to sell and others are just my favorite that I will never sell because there's you know emotional connection with that piece. Although I have to admit, I have one of those yards that think people drive by and take a double look because, not that I have too much art, but I do have a lot of art in my yard. So my father was a Renaissance man. Um, since I can remember, oil painting, photography, candle making, and he eventually settled on clay, ceramics. He was a wonderful potter. And he did that for over 20 years. And for years, I talked about making stands or holders for his vessels because I wanted to elevate them and celebrate them, give them a little more credibility, as well as differentiate his work from other potters. And um, we talked and talked and talked about it. And of course, you know, I'm raising a family at the time. And um, then he was diagnosed with lung cancer. And so I said, well, time to stop talking, time to start doing. So I took a welding course at Washtenaw Community College and unfortunately, he passed away before we actually had a chance to work together. But he was a prolific potter. So when he passed, he had tons of work that was still unfinished. So I promised my mom that I would finish his work. So I spent many Saturdays in his studio, you know, glazing, firing, raccooning, and so forth. And my mom said that she really felt his presence when I was there. And um, it was a wonderful way to celebrate his life and to, and to really remember him. And she came up with the idea that I should follow in his footsteps and suggested that I do an art fair. That, that's kind of where my journey began. I have a studio here at home where I do all my ceramics and clay work and a lot of my sketching and drawing and inspiration. And it's where I store a lot of my metal and so forth. Uh, you'll find me just staring at these shelves behind me, uh, trying to figure out what I want to make. I am so honored to be part of Mittens for Detroit and Art for Gloves. Your art purchases support this charity and help provide needed clothing for those in need in the cold Detroit months. Thank you for your support. To me, art is a verb in the sense that I'm creating art, I'm arting, <laughs> and it's the process of building something is where I find my joy. The more I work with metal, the more I believe it's a very pliable resource, that it's moldable, and it's not hard. It's, it's, um, it's, it's porous, it's bendable, it's, I mean, with grinding you can sculpt it. And so even though it's perceived metal in our world as being a hard substance, to me it's not. It's a pliable uh, medium in which I can mold and create um, something that I see in my mind's eye. <laughs>